You might think oil just shoots out of the ground if you stick a pipe in, but the real process is way more complicated. First, you have to find where the oil is. Exploration teams use special Vibrosace trucks that send shock waves into the ground. These waves bounce back differently depending on the rock layers, and experts analyze the signals to figure out if there's oil underground. Once they pinpoint the spot, drilling begins. Oil usually lies several kilometers deep, so ordinary drill bits won't work. Engineers design extra tough bits that can grind through layer after layer of rock. But there's a problem. Friction creates extreme heat, which can destroy the bit, or even trigger a dangerous blowout of oil and gas. To prevent this, Workers constantly pump in drilling fluid. This isn't just water. It cools and lubricates the bit, carries rock chips to the surface, and keeps underground pressure balanced so oil, gas, or water don't rush in. When the drill reaches an aquifer, they lower steel casing into the hole and pump cement between the casing and the rock. This prevents cave-ins and protects groundwater from oil leaks. Once the cement hardens, Drilling continues until they reach the oil reservoir. But hitting oil doesn't mean it flows freely. Most reservoirs are locked tight in rock, and only a tiny bit comes out naturally. That's why engineers use hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. They lower a perforating gun into the well, set off small explosive charges, and punch holes through the casing and cement. Then, high-pressure pumps force in a special fluid that cracks the rock open. To keep the cracks from closing, they mix in sand grains as tiny supports. With these new channels open, the oil can finally seep into the well and be pumped up continuously. 